Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Random Craft. Today, I was planning to do a little bit of follow-up work on the opening of the Inconvenience Shop and then go seriously bug Shallon uh, about these two guys. You really need to get rid of these. But never mind any of that because we have a much, much more pressing item at hand today. We need to get revenge. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I said revenge. And who would I need to be getting that revenge on? It's the mustache man himself, Dolan. If you're confused and surprised, well, so am I. And to really understand what's going on, we'll go back to the dragon fighting live stream to look at some of our first interactions together. May I interest you in a mustache in this trying time? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's oh. 2012 again. Oh, happy day. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Whoops, sorry. Ah, yeah! There you go. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, everyone. I'm checking out. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah. Yo! Like For Antomia! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, what? Of our stuff got lost in the void. Hmm. Yeah. Which... Did my mustache oh, survive? Get thick. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm gonna punch him with my stash. Punch him with the tash. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, did I do it? Nice. Was that me? Congrats. Yeah. I beat him with the end. mustache. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. I killed the Ender Dragon with a mustache. Yeah, you did. <laughs> now, while I was standing in the end portal with Dylan, hoping to get the kill on the dragon, he was the one who actually got it, killing the dragon with the mustache. And I unexpectedly caught the first Elytra of the season at the same time. Now, I always thought that Dolan actually deserved that first Elytra since he's the one who got the final kill on the dragon. And I actually recently met up with him so that I could actually pass along that first Elytra to him. There he is. There you are. What, what, my boy. what happened to you already? Look at you. You're all full oh. of... What have you been doing? You got an ender oh. pearl and you're full of arrows. What have you been up to? <laughs> Look, man, it's been a day. <laughs> okay, I've been waiting to, to see you. Now, you and I were both in the, whatever, the end portal pit when the end dragon died. And you got yeah. the final hit with the mustache. But I, did, I, did I caught the elytra, so technically Ooh. this belongs to you, not me. Oh, Fox, no, I can't. Fox, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, God. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. What yeah. are you doing? What are you, you doing? You killed, ah. you killed, ah. you killed the end dragon, so you deserve the first elytra of the season. So I've been this meaning to give that to you. This should not be in I my should. possession. No, it should. You, you beat the dragon with the mustache. Yeah, you should get that. Absolutely. Oh. All right, so needless to say, after our first couple interactions, I was thinking, hey, that Dolan, what a nice guy. He's pretty cool, right? Wrong, wrong, so wrong. We actually need to go back to my very first day of Random Craft now because something happened on that first day that is important to this story. But first, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and go ahead and leave a like on it for me. And if you have a comment or a question, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. And if you're one of the many people who are not yet a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's fast, it's free, and it helps me bring you more great content just like this, and I would really appreciate it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any footage from my initial day one live stream anymore, but right here around spawn, there was actually a white horse that I found and I tamed on that very first day. Now, I didn't have a saddle because I had just spawned into the world, so the horse stayed here at spawn, but eventually during the dragon fight live stream, I found a saddle in an end city. I came back to spawn here and I actually saddled the horse and I brought it back to my base. My horse was barely here at my base until one day I was leaving to go shopping at the land of Donut and as I was going over to the other side of the water here I discovered something somewhat upsetting. We're going to take our horse and we're gonna... Wait, what? You are not my horse. How am I supposed to get around with no horse? Oh my goodness. So in response, I left a little sign that basically told whoever thought this was a horse to go get their eyes checked. 
I thought it was appropriate given what happened. This is not a horse. It was named horse. I've renamed it not horse because not horse might need the side of my sword. I'm not entirely sure. The next time I returned, I realized the ante in this game got upped big time. Oh, I see more signs. Uh oh. What? Not horse. Uh, what? Not cool. So not cool. I expect to keep your threat and kill not horse. If you want to see horse again, you must kill not horse the cat. <gasps> oh, oh, that, oh, oh no. This just went completely in a different direction. Let's play a game, horse or cat, which one dies? How could they do this? How could they try to trick me and put an obvious imposter instead of the real kitty? But worry not, I had a plan. I have created a replacement over here. We're gonna take Not Kitty out of here. We're gonna put Not Horse the Cat, <laughs> the correct Not Horse the Cat, in here. This is not Not Horse, this is so not cool. I am okay with letting Not Horse the Cat also meet its end, that's fine. Are you sure you wanna go down this route though? Because I only play one game and that game is called Foxy wins. I warned them not to mess with me, but there was a response and a very upsetting one at that. So I'm curious. Uh, oh, made your choice. You played. Oh, uh, not horse is not here. And we have we have a trail of redstone. Oh, there is only winner. Maybe they meant to say there is only one winner. We seem to have a path here. Let's play a game. Which did you save? Did you win? Did you make the right choice? When a man makes a choice, he must live with it or die by it. Does this mean I'm gonna die behind this door? Uh-oh, I don't see anyone in here. You get to keep not horse. Oh, okay. You tried to give me half a cat, so I gave you half a, what? What? Better luck next time. What? Did did this person take out my horse? <gasps> mustache. May I interest you in a mustache in this trying time? Oh, yes. Did my mustache survive? I'm gonna punch him with a mustache. With a mustache. 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 Dolan's mustache. He left it probably thinking he's clever and that the game was over, but oh no, 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 no. I have a plan for what I am going to do. I erected this memorial in memory of the day one horse. It never really had a name. It never really played the game, but it will be in our hearts as my first best friend here in the game. Now we're over here by the employee entrance of the inconvenience shop. And as you can see, I actually added a door over here to prevent anyone but me going into the employee entrance. And it is locked. You actually need a key in this barrel uh, to go through here. So I might actually look at that maybe in the next episode. But what we're gonna talk about today is we're actually gonna build something right here. I've been digging out this area because I have a build ready for today. And that is going to essentially be Fort Foxy to 2.0. In my solo survival series, I actually put together a fort where I could conduct pillager raid fights and I could get all of those good pillager items like totems of undying, saddles, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a new version of that here in Random Craft. I'm actually after one specific thing by setting this up. I want some ravagers. Now in my solo survivor world, I never knew what to do with the ravagers that I caught. They just kind of sat in a barn near what eventually became the gaming plaza over there. Oh, I know very well what these ravagers are gonna be for here in Random Craft. They are going to be a present to Dolan and a thank you for his having killed my day one horse. So let's get right to it. Let's put Ford Foxy 2.0 together. Three, two, one, let's go.
Okay, and here is Fort Foxy 2.0 all completed and ready to go. I decided to continue the theme of the above ground ancient city relics here, and I actually adapted a build from an ancient city as the basis for this, and I customized it to serve as a battle fort. Plenty of room inside for storage, items, armor, etc. And I have lots of ways to see out here through the bars. And I have these kind of little things right here. This port right here that I can see out and shoot. The second story is nice and wide open so it's easy to get around. And I also found that this kind of configuration helps when fighting vexes. It makes them easier to take on. And I have lots of opportunity to see down to the lower level. And I can even see under the overhangs here and get some good shots down there. I also continue to feature these ladders on the outside so that if I happen to come down between rounds to collect items that have fallen, I can get back up very quickly. And of course, I have these trap doors for safety as pillagers can climb the ladders. I learned that the hard way. I have a little more work to do on details. I have to put some exterior lighting and things like that. And I also need to set up the tracks out here so I can capture the ravagers during the pillager raid. Okay, so I have put some finishing touches here on the pillager fort. We're continuing the theme of skulk over here with some skulk. We have some defensive berries over around the outside with some sweet berry bushes. And I even put some more copper flourishes. We have the good old fox banner is there. Here inside I've added a number of storage blocks. We've got lots of barrels and chests, lots of storage for items like bows and munitions. I've even added some work blocks and I have some spare armor in here. On the second floor, I've just added some more decorative copper up here, which is currently oxidizing, and I have more chests up here with more bows and more arrows, and we even have some food. And down here in the basement, I've added some decorative details. I got some chests for some more storage, and we have our resident villager who's here. And our villager will be down here, safe and sound, in his nicely decorated room, safe and away from all the pillagers. So the other thing that I've done over here is I've added these tracks which are here to capture the ravagers when they come out. So I'll just put some minecarts down. The minecarts go back and forth. I'll lure the ravager over here. They'll get caught in the minecart and trapped here. And then the next thing that I've done is I've created this whole long hallway right here. I'm going to bring ravagers down here and I've created this storage room over here. It needs to be about 100 blocks or so away from wherever the raid is happening. But if I take the ravagers far enough I can store them over here and continue the pillager raids unabated. So now that the fort is complete and the ravager capture and storage areas are ready our next task is to go get ourselves a bad omen come over here and begin a pillager raid. Oh boy. I have run the first pillager raid here at Fort Foxy, which I did on a recent live stream, so you can check it out on my channel. And there's some good news and <laughs> some bad news. The good news is I caught two Ravagers to start. Now, obviously, I went four altogether, but we've got two, so we're already halfway there, which is great. The bad news is I unfortunately died multiple times to Vexes and unfortunately lost a couple items. I did lose a pair of wings as a result of that. I'm going to do a better job of stowing non-essential gear and only having what I need for the raid on me. We do still need to get two more Ravagers to complete what it is that we need to do for today. So I'm going to run over to the Pillager Outpost, get myself another Bad Omen, and it's going to be time for another Pillager Raid. We captured two more Ravagers, so we now have all four of our Ravagers. Same thing like I had in my solo world, but this time, oh, I've got a perfect use for you. We're going to start moving these Ravagers over to the land of donut and then i have a perfect way to one hide the ravagers so dolan doesn't see where they're going to be and at the same time offer him a wonderful surprise where he can then release the ravagers and we can get revenge on him so i'm going to go ahead and start setting all of that up and we'll be back when we're ready to take a look we've got a bunch more work done over here all of these ravagers are now silenced as you can hear they're not going to make any more noise which is brilliant and what I've done is I've set up a little area right here so that I can bring them into this little chamber. And I'm going to put a cactus right here so that when they roll in, it'll run into the cactus and pop them out of the minecart. And then hopefully back over here, 
I can tempt the Ravager to follow me and go through this portal. I have this redstone line over here so that after I send the Ravagers on their way, I can trigger that switch, which is back over there, to pull the piston, which will break the cactus, because I don't want the Ravager getting hurt by the cactus. I just want it to break out of the minecart. Once the Ravager goes through the portal, it's going to come out into this whole area that I've constructed here on the nether roof. This is going to be a conduit from this portal here all the way down there towards where the land of donut is. Hopefully I can tempt it down all the way down this pathway and down the end over here is another end portal. I have different gates along the way so I can queue the ravagers in different segments so I can bring them through one at a time. I still have to build what I need to build in the land of donut but for right now I'm going to queue up the ravagers right here. I'm going to get them to this point and this is the point where it's either going to go really well or it's going to go really poorly. I've got the first line right here from this ravager all set up. Three, two, one, off he goes and out of the okay it's out of the mine cart got a little bit of damage in there but that's okay let's see can you come over ah it's through the portal okay now hopefully it's where i want it to be oh i think it is oh it looks like it's already down there yeah come get me <laughs> i want you to come all the way down good you now have one ravager in the queue ready to go so let's queue up the other three in here and we will keep this moving all of our lovely ravagers are all queued up here i've got four of them they're all separated and i can release them individually to come through the portal i'm going to build like this portal up i'm going to build a portal in the overworld where i want it and then i'm going to build what is going to contain the ravagers the present and then we're going to build a way for them to get into the present so i'm going to go set that all up and we'll be back when we're ready to move the ravagers once again Okay, here we are at the land of Donut, and here is the giant present. We already have one of our big, beautiful Ravagers is already in here. There's my portal that's going to the nether roof. I have a little bit of a uh, area right here where the Ravagers will come in, and I have a fence gate over here to keep them in the present. I have a little bit of redstone right here. I can flip this switch and open these fence gates and lure the Ravager in, and then once it's in, I can shut the gate. I'm going to go and bring the other three, and then we're going to talk about how the present is going to be revealed. All four Ravagers are now in the present and it wasn't really as bad as you might think to get them in there. So how is the present going to be revealed? Well that's going to happen right here. So there is redstone inside of here and it'll be triggered not by a button but it's going to be triggered by a podium and a book. Once Dolan reads the book and flips the page it's going to ignite what's going to happen inside. And this is what's inside here that's going to blow the outside of the present up and reveal the Ravagers. There's going to be some TNT all in here, three on each side, three in the top, and that should blow everything. And I also have these dispensers here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test fire on these different uh, dispensers one more time. I just want to make sure that they're working before I go and place the lectern and the TNT. Okay, so I heard the dispensers go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, all the dispensers are empty, which means the redstone is working correctly. We can buy our TNT and we can arm this present. All right, so we have a full stack of TNT. Thank you, Donut. <laughs> <laughs> Donut's going to be supplying the very armament that's going to blow this thing up. Before I go ahead and arm the present and finalize this, I'm just going to do a little more cleanup around here, and then we're going to go ahead and write our book, place our lectern and our signs, and this present will be ready for the TNT. Okay, so all the cleanup is done, so it's time to get the potions into the dispensers here, and we've got some good ones. We've got potion of strength, potion of region, and potion of swiftness, which is going to make these ravagers do some serious damage and now comes oh boy this is the point of uh, no return so I'm actually gonna put the TNT down all the TNT is in whoops we missed one right there they should all go off instantaneously based on the repeaters and everything and it should destroy all of the wool around here I added a few extra TNTs just to make sure some of the extra wool that I was placing definitely gets destroyed and the ravagers definitely get set free the last thing to do now is to place the book on the lectern and here is what the book says to Dolan it's a gift for you what is it you said to me so recently 
When a man makes a choice, he must live by it or he must die by it. Those are the words that he left me on the signs. So I hope this present helps you remember one important thing, Dolan. Foxy wins. Have fun with your present. Now, when Dolan actually flips that page, it's going to set off the TNT and it should explode the present and the Ravagers should be unleashed. And I'm going to now place the book. The signs are up. An exclusive gift for the mustache man, Dolan. Read all the pages of the book and then enjoy the gift. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that it's all done. This was a huge amount of work getting the Ravagers in there and getting this set up. And I'm sure Dolan is going to be like absolutely shocked when he comes here and sees this giant present and a sign that tells him to read the book and see what he gets. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see his reaction when he unleashes those Ravagers. It should be priceless. One thing to note is I did move Peanuts animals back here away. I did, she did have a couple of horses and a donkey over here, which I did move out of the line of fire. Here is the portal for Donut. And as you can see, with all my cleanup, everything is gone. Every trace of what I did here is completely gone. Everything is cleaned up and we're back to the way we were before we began. So that is it. We are done and every Everything is left in the hands of Dolan. It's now up to him to go and open his present and see what happens after that. So the Ravagers may be gone, but I'm going to keep this area intact. I think this is great. Just in case I ever happen to need Ravagers again, this works perfectly. I might even go ahead and dress it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer since it's just stone at the moment. It's not really anything great. And I did disable the nether portal for the moment just because I don't want anybody coming or going in through here without my approval. And at some point, we are going to finish off this hallway. This is meant to be a connective hallway between my inconvenience store area over there and my base, which is kind of off over in that direction. So I'll probably continue working on this and drilling through the rest of the mountain and going that way and then probably doing some decoration on this hallway. I still have my rails where I can capture the Ravagers out here, but I cleaned up the rest of the track and I closed off the tunnel over here just to keep it inconspicuous. I don't want people to necessarily know I have all of this Ravager infrastructure set up uh, just in case I need to use it for the future and that will wrap up what I will say is a pretty full episode I must say I wasn't really expecting for the episode to go this way I had a bit of a different plan in mind for today but the death of day one horse and all of that drama kind of forced my hand and I wanted a pillager fort anyway and this was just a great way to kill two birds with one stone I got some totems I got some saddles I got some Ravagers and very soon I'm gonna get some sweet sweet revenge so you'll have to go over now and watch dolan's channel and watch for him to open his present and see what happens revenge will be mine because you know foxy wins everybody it looks like i still have a few pillagers hanging around my fort so i'm gonna have to go clean them out of there i hope you have a great day and you are staying safe out there everybody and i'll see you again real soon take care